Before we get into it, I want to uh, welcome our presenters who are going to uh, be uh, participating in this briefing today. And a year ago, uh, we found a sample, uh, and it was, uh, again, we're exploring in places where there were rivers and, and where there were lakes. And uh, much as on Earth, uh, we think that that's where we'd see signs of ancient life um, uh, on Mars. And so a year ago, we thought we found uh, what we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. And so we put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life on Mars? And after a, a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars, uh, which is incredibly exciting. And today, we are really showing you how we are kind of one step closer to answering humanity's one of their most profound questions, and that is, are we truly alone in the universe? So if I could have the first image, please, that would be great. So last July, as Secretary Duffy uh, eloquently described, NASA's Perseverance rover found a leopard-spotted rock at Mars. And scientists immediately knew it was interesting. We hadn't seen anything like that before on Mars. And we talked about it last summer. The moment we found it, we put out the images for everybody to see and everybody to share, share in the joy of NASA science. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, today, we're really here celebrating that incredible hard work of the science team as they literally tried to prove it wasn't interesting. Maybe it's just <laughs> something else. Maybe it's not, you know, the key uh, result that we've been waiting for. Um, and so they've, they've done the analysis on these leopard spots. Um, and we, you know, we think they are potentially made by some sort of ancient life. These textural features told us that something really interesting had happened in these rocks. Some set of chemical reactions occurred at the time they were being deposited. And so we really wanted to understand what those reactions might have been. So we turned to our organic chemical detector, the Sherlock instrument, and trained it on this rock at the location of those two little black boxes that you see on the surface of the rock. And I'll switch to our next view graph. The data that we got back from the Sherlock instrument was fantastic. What you can see here is a set of spectra that are called Raman spectra. And there's a lot of information on these graphs, but the key thing to take note of is the fact that what we see in these spectra is something called a G-band, and that's pointed out uh, on the image. The, the G-band for us is a smoking gun indicator for the presence of organic matter in this mud. And we see that G-band in the Chayava Falls target, and we actually see it in a couple of the other locations that we interrogated around the Bright Angel Formation. And this tells us that we had a rusty red mud that was deposited in the presence of organic matter. And what's exciting about these finds, this, this sort of combination of mud and organic matter that has reacted to produce these minerals and these textures, is that when we see features like this in sediment on Earth, these minerals are often the byproduct of microbial metabolisms that are consuming organic matter and making these minerals as a result of those reactions. But there are non-biological ways to make these features that we cannot completely rule out <clears throat> on the basis of the data that we collected with our rover payload. So what we need to do from here is to continue to do additional research in laboratory settings here on Earth and ultimately bring the sample that we collected from this rock back home to Earth so that we can make the final determination for what process actually gave rise to these fantastic textures. Additionally, I want to remind everyone that what we're describing here is a potential biosignature. That is a characteristic element, molecule, substance, or feature uh, that might have a biological origin but requires more data or further study before reaching a conclusion about the presence or absence of life. Well, that's valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Back shell set. Current velocity is 
83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. TRN safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from M MRO. Tango Delta. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. <laughs>